Good afternoon. This is Jim with the Portable Generator Expert here at Electric Generators Direct, and this is Ask the Expert. Today I want to talk about dual fuel generators, some advantages of them and some particulars. So first you can go on our site and you can click on the portable tab we have here. From there you can uh, navigate down by fuel to dual fuel generators. These are portable units, dual fuel models, and today, for argument's sake, we're going to talk about this champion unit. The uh, Where I'd like to start is really the advantages of going with a, uh, a dual fuel portable generator. First, I think the biggest advantage is going to be that when an emergency hits, whether it's a snowstorm, a hurricane, you know, whatever may be uh, going on, dual fuel generators thrive. The, uh, the thing is, is because not only are they going to be able to run off of uh, gasoline, just like most units do, but also you can use them on propane or LP. The real advantage there is during an emergency, whether you know the uh, the power is lost and gas stations just simply aren't up and running, the uh, there's a shortage of um, of gas at the stations themselves, or simply the gas prices have spiked up because that's common during a state of emergency. That's when propane is nice. Propane, you are able to store the store the uh, the fuel much safer than you are with gasoline. The propane bottle itself will go bad before the actual fuel, the vapor inside. Well, gasoline has a pretty short shelf life, as I'm sure you can understand. And, you know, you're not, you're storing it in oftentimes like a metal or plastic container, which is not always the safest route to go. You can easily spill, fumes can uh, escape, and it's just not always the safest of operations. So between the store, storing it, the accessibility, those two, I think, are the major influences. Primarily because when the unit is needed most is during a save emergency when power is not available and the last thing you want is to be simply out of fuel. Also, the flexibility you have with it. So even if you do have a few gallons of gasoline, you can run those dry, simply flip the switch here, turn the unit off, flip the switch here, connect the propane, fire it back up and you're back up and running on propane even after you ran out of gas. Also, these units will come with a propane hose with a regulator. You can see here, this is an example of what it'll look like. And that connection is a one inch Acme thread connection, exactly like what are on almost all barbecue grills. So if you already have a few, couple of uh, propane tanks because you use them with your barbecue, tank, barbecue grill, you can use those easy transition, same connections. I think amongst those, clearly, I think it's, um, in my opinion, if you're in an affected area, it's a no brainer to go with a dual fuel option. So those are really the advantages of going with propane. I kind of want to talk about some of maybe if you want to call it the disadvantages. The propane fuel itself does not have the same property properties or nutrients that you find with gasoline. As odd as to say it is the truth, and you can see here that when running on propane, it is going to be derated a little bit. So here, this is an 8,000 watt running, 10,000 watt surge unit, and gasoline. That's you get the 8,000, 10,000. On propane, you can see here, it provides up to 7,250, 7,250 running watts, 9,025 starting watts. So you do have a derated a little bit, and you can see here, we advertise it right here, first bullet in the features, so you have a good understanding. And even if you click on the generator, you can see it right here on the uh, unit itself. And that is actually what is stamped on the generator. Next, I wanna talk about using it with larger tanks. So you can see here, that this is compatible with a 20 or 30 pound tank, which is clearly not included. The issue is with that, a lot of customers maybe wanna use, for instance, a larger tank, like a 100 gallon tank. They're designed to be used with that 20 or 30 pound tank max. When you are getting up to 100 gallon tanks, 200 gallon tanks, 250 gallon tanks, whatever it may be that customers may use with a standby generator or have plumbed into their home, the regulator that I previously mentioned this is designed to be used with a 20 or 30 pound tank, not so much a larger tank. The issue is with the water column and PSI being properly transmitted from the tank to the generator for what it calls for is not always going to be where, where it needs to be and what the generator calls for when using the same regulator as you do on the 20 or 30 pound tanks. So that's kind of a disadvantage. You may be able to work something out with a different regulator, but I advise against it and sticking with the 20 or 30 pound tank. Finally, using conversion kits. So if you have, as is, a strictly gasoline-only generator and you want to turn it into a dual fuel unit, maybe propane, natural gas, whatever it may be, we 
do not sell conversion kits. Many manufacturers do not sell conversion kits. And if you do use an aftermarket conversion kit to make it into a dual fuel generator, more than not, you're going to void the warranty. So in my opinion, it's best to just outright buy a dual fuel generator. I think it gives you flexibility. You do, clearly don't have to use the propane or you clearly don't have to use the gasoline. Or you can use both to have flexibility independently. That's kind of the gist of it. Um, feel free to let us know if there's any questions. You can f call us at 800-800-3317 with any questions or anything we can do for you moving forward. Have a good one.